Hey everybody, it's me, and today is kind of more of a, uh, I don't know if it's a rant, it's definitely a video about some anger and disappointment. Uh, there was a situation that was brought to my attention by one of my subbies, Girl Going Natural, hey GGN, and uh, she explained to me that she had found an article on Media Takeout about Solange, is it Solange or Solange? Whatever. Uh, Knowles, Beyonce's sister. Now, as we all know, she went natural a year, two years ago. I think more like a year or whatever. And her hair has been steadily growing out and growing out. It is now at a nice length and also there might be some hair added to it. I couldn't really be sure, but Media Takeout had some nasty things to say. Check it out. All right, here is the article in question and there is the very lovely Solange with all of that freaking hair. Arr, love it. But look at the headline. Hmm. Now that Solange Knowles, Knowles' hair is growing out, we just don't like it as much. Solange's hair is starting to look a little like a little sideshow bobbish. Duh. And there's a picture of him. First off, it does not even look the same, but I have seen some twist outs and braid outs that do uh, may resemble this dude's hair. All right, so yeah, that did, you know, strike a chord with me. It, it's bothersome, uh, to say the least. African American hair grows out in coiled shapes. I guess with enough length, it begins to get heavier and may begin to hang in a more down sort of fashion. But usually before that, it is going to be growing out, 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 out. Now given the natural hair, let's call it a revolution if we will, I think it's highly insensitive for media takeout to, I'm not sure exactly what they did. Are they insinuating that all black people, African Americans, people of African descent, uh, that when our hair is in its natural form that we all look like Sideshow Bob? Or does Sideshow Bob look like us? Because didn't we come first? That's what I thought. Um, is all African American hair that is uh, has grown out to a, a nice long length and happens to be parted down the middle always going to be equated with uh, some sort of a monster uh, from Bugs Bunny or uh, Sideshow Bob or oh I feel like there's another cartoon that I'm missing with a person who has a very very thick and curly hair. Um, I think that it would be less offensive if it wasn't uh, that her hair was natural. But the fact that her hair is natural and that many, many, many African Americans who have gone natural actually don the exact same hairstyle because it looks nice, uh, people are going to be offended. If it didn't have the part in the middle, would it? still be sideshow bobbish? Is an afro acceptable? Or is natural hair unacceptable to media takeout? Is it unattractive? Do you dislike all natural hair? Or just all natural hair after it gets to a certain length that makes you start to feel like uh, it, the person has to be a freaking cartoon in order to have that kind of hair? Here's something that you need to know media takeout. African Americans have that kind of hair. It is curly, and we also have kinky curly hair, and some of us have just regular curly hair. Some people have straight hair. We run the gamut on different types of hair and texture. However, to single out 
the for category, and that is the category that is specifically for people with a kinky texture of hair or maybe even some sort of a kinky curly type of hair, uh, we would have the hair that would more than likely grow outward to make a mockery of us by making a mockery of her. Uh, it is not just mocking this one single woman, which mind you isn't a nice thing to do in the first place, but what you have done is enraged the natural hair community because we're upset. We're getting sick of people taking cheap shots at our hair. My hair is awesome. And I know it is. I don't need your approval. However, I also don't need your disapproval. It is tasteless. It is tactless. It is rude. All right, media takeout. I'm going to give you something to take in. African Americans are not the only people with thick curly hair. Uh, thick curly hair can be actually grown by people of every race imaginable. So it isn't just our fight, but curly haired people all over. I'm just saying it wasn't a nice thing to do. It was highly offensive and knock it off. Can't wait to talk to you guys again. Bye.